Hey everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're going to be talking about Tyrant Guard. Uh, Tyrant Guard took me longer than normal to make a video on because I really had to think about what were they planning with these guys. Um, with the upgrades they've, or at least I think they've made to Warriors, it looks like Warriors can really do everything a Tyrant Guard does. Um, they even have one more wound than Tyrant Guard, and that was a real surprise. Warriors now come wound three, and Tyrant Guards are, are wound two. Uh, of course, one of the big differences is that Tyrant Guard are three plus armor, but let's be honest, if somebody's charging your Swarm Lord or your, or your Hive Tyrant, they probably have power weapons. So, so uh, the extra wound tends to be more useful than the um, the three plus armor save. And as for shooting, well, you've got venom thropes and so many different answers for that in the game that uh, to make shooting difficult that they didn't really shine there either. The real area that I saw the 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 tyrant guard come into play is A uh, it allows the tyrant and the swarm lord to join them as an independent character so they get to look out sir rules obviously that's the largest benefit that they get and uh, on top of this you can give at least the, the tyrants regeneration which then makes them even that much more tougher. They have to soak. Uh, they have to get through all the wounds of the tyrant guard, and and anything that manages the land on the tyrant has a four plus chance of being regenerated next turn. The real interesting thing I found out about the tyrant guard. The real interesting thing I found about is crushing claws. Crushing Claws. You can put Crushing Claws on basically a infantry unit, which will give them a plus one to strength and an AP two. That's pretty amazing. That's where that's where they basically become Terminator killers. Any squad of Terminators that charges into these guys is going to get eaten. Their initiative is much higher than your standard Marine. Um, there, they obviously also have the two wounds. Uh, you don't have to worry as much about the power weapons, hopefully, because you'll be going first. Uh, and that AP two, I think the AP two is actually more useful than than the three plus armor save. To be honest with you. So, and of course now they become strength six. That's 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 the pretty much awesome thing that they have there. Now, you other things, well, of course, my favorite, if anybody's been watching my videos, is the adding of toxin sacks. You give toxin sacks to a tyrant guard, and suddenly now all their they've got how do I say it? <laughs> Poisoned crushing claw attacks. So it's a strength six poison. Which really means that they're going to be re-rolling all of their two wounds, it, assuming you you can actually find toughness. Anybody with over a toughness seven, then they're going to be wounding on a, on, a, on a four plus, which which is good in and of itself at an AP two. So that that's where I really saw them shine, at least in the in the few scenarios where I was able to test them out. I really wasn't able to use them in a full battle so far. You don't really need them in a full battle because they just stand around your tyrant. Um, another way of using this, at least in my style of play, which is more of a control army, is if these guys uh, walk in on the side of the table. So if you take a hive, uh, a hive tyrant and give him hive commander and give him outflank, and then have him and his unit, which he can attach to, walk in on the side of the table, these guys would be mean. The big shortcoming I would see from them compared to 
other units that you can do that with is that there would be no ranged attack. So a brood of warriors walking in the side of the table, you could use Onslaught or things like that to move and shoot on the turn that they come in, which you couldn't do with the, hirat, uh, the Tyrant Guard. That being said, the fact that they are infantry means that if you detach it from your Hive Tyrant, they can go through tunnels. And also what we'd find interesting is that these guys could be joined by uh, uh, Tyranid Prime. And he could go through the tunnels with them. They have the shield wall, which is also great. Automatic uh, passing of all, of all uh, Lookout Sir rules, making it very tough for... To, <laughs> To get to, to get to the swarm lord of the tyrant. In addition, they also can. Where was it? I'm gonna read it before I say it. They don't take up a slot on your force control chart. That's good. So they're not. This is a uh, playing to the data slate type of rules. So they're really more of a formation that's listed in the in the codex more than anything else. You got rampage, and I found that rampage. This is interesting. Um, when you combine Rampage, with Blinded Rampage, with uh, Adrenal Glands, you're basically hoping your Tyrant dies. Because uh, then these guys just become awesome. And basically, if somebody's close enough to have killed your Tyrant that way, they're probably in Assault Range, too. I don't think they did that with uh, Ranged Weapons only. So, wow. You, you get the toxin sacs and the adrenal glands and the, and the blind rampage and crushing claws. And, yeah, they may have killed your tyrant, but you are going to kill whatever is within a 12-inch range of these guys at that point in time. They're just going to run over them. Uh, in, a, in a very satisfying way. So the one one good thing that I could see coming from them, at least from a playing RP standpoint, is you'll get your revenge. And I think that's exactly what they were designed for. Uh, to, to kill every single thing that, that, that might have laid low your tyrant. Especially since they probably were wounded in some point in time. I doubt they're going to be a full strength unit after taking out your tyrant. And for, if you play them that way, they're an excellent. They're an excellent unit. Definitely what I would call Terminator killers. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. And that's my take on the Tyrant Guard. Thank you for watching.